Welcome to this tutorial for Software Ideas Modeler. Today, we'll explore how to create a data flow diagram, or DFD, using the Gain and Sarsen notation. A DFD visually represents how data moves through a system. It's useful for analyzing system workflows, understanding information flow, and optimizing processes, especially in the early stages of system design. In this tutorial, we'll build a DFD for an online bookstore, step by step. Let's get started. First, we need to add a new DFD diagram. To do this, switch to the Project tab in the ribbon and click on the Add New Diagram button. This will open the New Diagram dialog. From the left panel, switch to the Other category and select Data Flow Diagram. We're using the Gain and Sarsen version for this tutorial. Processes in this notation are shown as rounded rectangles. Let's name our diagram Online Bookstore and click OK. We'll begin with the Level 0 diagram, also known as the context diagram. This is an overview of the entire system. Start by adding the main process element. Drag the process button from the toolbox and drop it onto the diagram canvas. Name this process online bookstore. Next, we'll add external entities. Drag the external entity button from the toolbox. We'll create three entities, customer, warehouse, and Payment Gateway. Now, let's define the data flows between the process and the entities. Connect the customer to online bookstore with the data flow named Order Information. Next, connect online bookstore to Warehouse with Order Request. And from Warehouse back to online bookstore with Stock Information. Adjust the position of the arrows for clarity. Finally, we'll connect Online Bookstore to Payment Gateway with Payment Request. And from Payment Gateway, back to Online Bookstore with Payment Confirmation. With that, our context diagram is complete. Now we'll create the level one DFD, which decomposes the online bookstore process into smaller processes. To do this, select the online bookstore process and click on the add DFD level one button in the context bar. This adds a new sub diagram to the process. Go to the project sidebar, expand the online bookstore node and drag the customer entity into the diagram canvas. Select the entity and click the data flow to process button in the context bar. This creates a new process element connected by a data flow. Name this process process customer order. We'll add more processes in the same way, starting with check inventory. Go back to process customer order and use the data flow button to add the processes process payment and generate invoice. Lastly, drag the warehouse and payment gateway from the context diagram into this diagram. Connect check inventory to warehouse with data flows in both directions. Next, connect the payment gateway entity to process payment with bi-directional data flows. Let's add data flow connectors between check inventory and process customer order. And between generate invoice and customer. Now, we'll define the details for each data flow. Double click on the data flow from customer to process customer order and enter order information. For the flow from process customer order to check inventory, input order details for the forward flow and stock information for the backward flow. Similarly, the data between check inventory and warehouse will also be order details and stock information. Now, for the flow between process customer order and process payment, 
we'll set it to Order and Payment Details. Next, set the data between Process Payment and Payment Gateway. The process sends Order and Payment Details to the Payment Gateway, which responds with Payment Confirmation. Order and Payment Details also flow from Process Payment to generate invoice. Lastly, Generate Invoice sends an invoice to the customer. With these data flows complete, our Level 1 DFD is finished. Let's take it one step further by creating a Level 2 diagram to decompose the Process Payment element. Select the Process Payment element and click on Add DFD Level 2 in the context bar. In this sub-diagram, we'll add three sub-processes, Validate Payment Method, Send Payment Request, and Handle Payment Response. We can also refer to higher level processes by dragging them from the project tree into the diagram from the project sidebar. Finally, I'll show you how to easily navigate between nested diagrams. In the context diagram, any process with a sub-diagram has a special icon, a diagram frame with a bent arrow. Click on this icon to view associated diagrams. Double-click on the thumbnail of the diagram you want to explore, and Software Ideas Modeler will take you directly to that sub-diagram. And that's it! You've successfully created a data flow diagram for an online bookstore using Software Ideas Modeler, including multiple levels of decomposition. This method helps visualize how data flows through a system at different levels of detail. You can continue refining your DFD by adding more levels or processes as needed. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials on Software Ideas Modeler.